Pro for the Mac makes it super easy to record your mixes, whether you're trying to upload to SoundCloud or just make mixes for your friends or even review your practice mixes. In this video, I'm gonna show you the limitations, what you can record, what you can't, how to do it, and how to get the most out of it. So here we are in DJ Pro for the Mac, and what I wanna show you is where you go to record. So we're gonna go up here to the top left, and this is where we are going to record. This is where you could start your recording. You could decide whether it's audio or video. This app has an amazing video mode, but I'll talk about that in a different video. So we'll do audio recordings for now. And then your recordings that you've done in the past will be here. And then you could rename them by right clicking. So if you want to record something, what you're going to do is you're going to press start new recording or not. So this is a message that you're going to get. Recording not available while using songs from streaming service. Please load songs from your local music library. So right, right now on the deck, the song on the right is a song from a streaming service, and the song from the left is a song that I had made for me, so I own that song. So I could record the song on the left, but not the right. But even if you're just playing the song on the left and recording, if you have a song that is from a streaming service on a deck, on any deck, even if you're not playing it, it won't let you record. It won't let you let you record. So keep in mind that you're not going to be able to record using streaming services. And a lot of people that use this software only use streaming services, so it could be a pretty bad limitation. So now I'm just going to load up a song. So I have both songs that I. These are songs that I made. Now I'm going to press record. So now it is instantly recording. So now you could record whatever you want. So anything you're doing, you could record and then you could press stop recording. And then here's your recording. And then you could load it up onto a deck. Find where it is and then set your cue point and have your song there for you. Another thing that you could record is you could record anything that's happening in the software as long as it's not from a streaming service. So for example, you could set a loop on the looper. Stop recording. So now we have a little beat from the looper over here. We can load it up onto this deck. Now I can loop it. And then now I could add some samples to it. So you could layer up your recordings what's in the software, and it's kind of like a music production software built into your DJ software. So for example, record. So now we have recording with sampler and so now we have a recording with our sampler and with our looper. So listen. So that was kind of cheesy, but you could do record your own samples. You could use lyrics from your own songs and really get creative with this and really layer it up. Or you could just record your mixing, mixing a couple tracks together, or maybe a half hour mix or a one hour mix, as long as it's your own music. And if you want to with your own music, and then you could also record in video mode, and if you wanna learn about video mode for the app for the Mac, check out this video over here, thank you.